grab a seat, grab a, a table so we can get started. I want to welcome everybody to the fifth annual awards banquet for the Britain Judo and Dynamic Arts. Before the festivities get started, I want to introduce Father Bruce, who's been a mentor, not only to me, to John Fox and his family, and also a good friend. He will be making the benediction. Like most times in church, everybody's back here and I'm way up there. So this evening, I'm going to be down here with you. And um, so often, so with, our, with our kids, um, one of the things that they really enjoy during school mass is when I come down and I question. Is this okay down here? Okay. Um, and they ask, I ask them questions. And tonight, we're celebrating the abilities of a lot of wonderful people. But we want to also realize where those wonderful abilities come from. This weekend, we're celebrating the feast of the three kings. So they came to give their gifts to the Christ child. But we have gifts that we've been given. And that is what we give thanks for this evening and come together and celebrate. All these wonderful gifts, these talents, that especially these young people, but not just the young people, because too often we forget that the young people are able to exercise their gifts because of a lot of older folks. And I gotta be careful where I point so that I don't say who are the older folks. But we celebrate these wonderful gifts because people are willing to give of themselves, willing to give of themselves and help pass on, pass on so many wonderful things. And, hello. and so we come together to celebrate all these great gifts, not only that we give to God, but also gifts we give to one another and the many gifts that he gives to us. And so we thank God for all of these wonderful things, and we certainly ask him to continue to bless us in all of our endeavors, to bless the food that we are about to partake, to bless all those who come together to teach these young folk all the wonderful things that they have and what they can do with what they have. And so we thank God for all of this stuff. And we thank God for this wonderful food that we are now going to share. Bless you, bless everyone, everyone. Thank you. Uh, who here is hungry? I think we are. You folks ready? Start receiving. Want to start from this side? Yes? All right. So you folks form a line and let's get the munch up. We're going to slow things down for dinner and then we'll be back after that to open you get your buttons filled, have your cup of confidence, and then you'll get on the dance floor. I know a specific uh, couple that loves to dance side sign here. Yeah, I got your despacito coming, right? I got you. I ain't forget about you. <laughs> you want the regular, the Justin Bieber one, the bachata one, the salsa one, which one you want? Uh, presentation here. 
we're gonna go win some uh, awards, I believe. Right? That's it. If uh, you folks just settle down for just a second, so we can get started with the program. Just for those of you who are visiting us for the first time, just to give you a little background on the Britain Judo and Dynamic Arts. Uh, it's been in existence for well over 60 years, and a lot of people here know who Sandy Sanderson is. Uh, unfortunately, he couldn't make it tonight because of his failing health. He sends his apologies, but once everybody know he's here in spirit. Throughout the operation of the uh, dojo, all of his instructors have volunteered their time and knowledge for the betterment of the children of Central Connecticut community. This concept holds true today. Our mission is to provide a safe environment where children can learn and compete at an international level in the sports of judo, karate, and kickboxing. In doing so, we strive to instill humility, discipline, selflessness, and a strong sense of community. And obvious, it's very obvious tonight with everybody that came out and I give you uh, my sincere appreciation. And on behalf of all the instructors from New Britain Judo, uh, John Fox, Victor Odero, Carl Messina, uh, Jose Hithier, who's not here, Rochelle Ukai, who's not here. What am I missing? Kickboxing, Dennis, <laughs> P. Thank you, thank you, because you folks keep Sandy's legacy going. I really appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna commence the uh, award ceremony. I'm gonna ask Pete Gianola and Dennis Volpe to please come up to make a presentation for the kickboxing award. Karate Awards. I'm going to ask Carl Messina, please, to come up. Welcome, 
welcome everybody. You all having a good time? Yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. I still can't hear you. Yeah. Uh, the first award I'd like to announce is for a young lady that I've had the pleasure of knowing for about 12 years. Um, she started training with Kenji Fujiwara, who was someone that uh, Shihan Jose and I had the opportunity of meeting and training back in the uh, 70s, which some of you probably don't even, weren't even born then. <laughs> but uh, long story short, uh, she's a wonderful young lady. She gives her heart and soul, and she does it all for the kids. Yes, that's right, absolutely. And um, anything and everything that she does surrounds her life along with the kids. And she has her own two little girls as well. So the first award, award I'm going to go uh, and give is obviously to Rochelle Mukai. Kyoko Shin Karate for her continued dedication and for the Judo Dynamic Arts of her students as the Instructor Recognition Award. Thank you, Rochelle. She's not here today. She's actually sick. Uh, she's here in spirit. Right. Next award goes to a uh, young lady, pint size, fierce as can be, very, very competitive spirit, quick study, um, very respectful, and somebody that I've come to love as a young lady. And her name is Guadalupe Sanchez for Most Improved. Yes, they are martial arts, but they're two totally different disciplines. And he does a tremendous amount as a student, but more importantly as a leader for a lot of the younger kids. That's right, he does. I agree with you, little one. And for showing his great spirit and enthusiasm in his training, I'd like to award Best Spirit Award, Best Spirit Award, which goes to Christian Portado. volunteers. Um, a lot of you don't know what really goes on behind the scenes of running a, a dojo, such as what we have, but um, I truly want to take my hat off. We'll s Thank you so much. Carl forgot to mention that Lupe also does judo, so she's constantly down there five days out of the week. And we want to thank the parents for confiding in us and letting us handle their children the way we do. Thank you. 
Like I said before, we, we try to instill in people a sense of community. And we, when I tell you we have a family down there, it, it really is a family. People that I can count on. Uh, just recently, I was out in Puerto Rico. But if I needed something to be taken care of, Judo, all I had to do was make a phone call. Whether it was to James, Victor, or anybody else. Because again, it is a family down there. there. There's parents that we rely on a lot. People who say, here I'm present for whatever you need. So the first person I'd like to recognize who has given up their time without hesitation, and they're gonna be recognized for being a great volunteer, for her dedication and assistance with the day-to-day -day operations. She stepped up to the plate organized our records, which meant purging old records, getting new records in, uh, sprucing up the place to make it more amicable to the public that walks in. So we'd like to recognize Jeannie Bonet as a judo volunteer. Also for putting up with you. Yeah, you know it's not easy. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you for all you do. Another person who, who works hard. He's always there for his son. He's always there for us in judo. Dedicates his time, even with the lack of sleep. He's always stepped up at a plate and always said, I'm here and I'm present for whatever you need. He takes the time to travel with us as well as his son competes. And the great Junior Dynamic Arts proudly presents this volunteer recognition award to Luis Enrique Guerrero for his generous commitment of time and sweat. Simeola, why don't you come up, please? Uh, this is Mark Simeola. We became friends about five, six years ago. And it's, it's a friendship that's blossomed. Uh, Mark is a security director with CWPM. And as you can see through the uh, banner there, they've been proudly supporting you, Britain Jugo. So we've established a, an award, which is CWPM Service Award. This particular person grew up with me and my brother back in the day when we were doing judo. He was out of the scene for some time because life takes different paths. But through God's, God's grace, he's gracing our mats again. He's another person that steps up to the plate and says, what can I do? And he just, uh, again, proved himself as myself and John were away, Vic was busy with his second career as well. And he was there for the kids in judo, running the class and, and being who he is, giving of his best. So, Mark will be presenting the Brit Judo and Dynamic Arts CWPM Service Award to James Mercado for his dedication to the Brit Judo and Dynamic Arts on and off the mat.
By the way, uh, was the food was the food good? Uh, then I'll take credit. If not, it's James' fault. <laughs> Thank you, James, and his family for all you guys do. Thank you. Listen, that concludes the uh, recognition awards. We do have raffle prizes. Uh, give you folks maybe ten more minutes for those who uh, want to purchase more tickets. You can go see Sierra real quick and. We'll start doing the drawings and then get some music going and start partying. Yes? Yeah. Thank you. Folks, thank you again for the invitation. Um, CWPM, we recognize this organization. It's a, a special group, a lot of volunteer work. It's uh, amazing some of the accomplishments in this dojo. The CWPM service support that Henry created you know, to me is uh, really appropriate for the people who have been recognized here, service to the community, to a cause, to the dojo. You know, the, those, are, those are important words. Um, we again recognize this organization as something special in the community and what it gives back to the community. This year, um, I'd like to present Henry, Victor, the trainers, the, the teachers here, the mentors, with a check for $1,500 towards your next trip to competition. God bless you all. Thank you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Thanks for everything you do. And again, I think it's about giving back, giving back. We have been very blessed. As we can see, just look around. It's a blessing. Thank you all for coming. Thanks for sharing your time with us. It means a lot. Thank you. God bless. And let's have a good time. Amen.